Well, we're excited. It's going to be Tuesday, December 11th from 5.30 to 6.15 at the new McAllen Convention Center. Uh, it's going to be a short time. Uh, we've got the mayor is going to speak. J.D. Salinas is going to speak. The mayor of Gautenio is going to talk just a little bit. Uh, environmentalist. And then what we really want to do is we're going to be passing out about a six-page document that are bullet points for people to use to go testify. It is important, critically important, that people testify. Because if they don't testify, we're going to get rolled over by the federal government. And, and there's a good chance we're going to get rolled over anyways. But we can start building a record to show the community's opposition to the law. And that's really important. Uh, it is either it's time for the citizens to step up and to voice their opinions, whether they're pro or for the wall, it doesn't matter. It is really time for people to step up and voice their opinion because if we're not engaged, if we don't take part, we're gonna get taken apart. And it's, I mean, it's just important, you know, and if we have a couple hundred people there, then we have sent the wrong message because we've gotten uh, inquiries from national media about the event, wanting to know who's gonna be there, how many people we're anticipating. And if we show up with only a couple hundred people, and we have sent the message to the rest of the country, this is not an issue that's important to us. And what sort of numbers do you expect? I, you know, Steve, that, it's an excellent question, and it really it's kind of a black box right now. We've been contacting and, you know, using the net, you know, the networks we have out there, the internet, you know, you all have been a great help. Uh, we're we're going to have things being promoting it. I mean, it's just, I just hope the word gets out and people show up. Yeah, I think you hit the nail right on the head. The one other point I want to make before I answer your question is, just recently, I mean, I think yesterday, announced the uh, Border Patrol announced that the, there's a 35% decrease in Texas in the number of illegal aliens coming into the United States, 37% uh, for New Mexico. They cite their increased uh, efforts in terms of uh, boots on the ground and some of the technology that they're using. And so this is before we even waste all this money border wall that's not going to have a single impact in terms of stopping illegal immigrants. And so uh, a large crowd that turns out sends the message, this is important to us, you can't roll over us, and we're going to challenge you the whole way. It seems like it's just a perfunctuary going through the motion uh, for DHS, Border Patrol, and the Corps of Engineering, and it's just uh, it's frustrating. But we do have the constitutional right to petition our government. This is our opportunity to do it. I need citizens and to make their, their thoughts and opinions known. Our senators and, and U.S. representatives, can they do more in, in uh, we, don't, we don't hear so much from them these days on the border wall. Could they do a bit more? Yeah, I mean, I, and I think the key, is, and I, I want to give credit to Senator Cornyn's office because I've raised the issue about the number of uh, transcribers uh, stenographers that are there, that if we have more people beyond the 8 o'clock hour, will they go till everybody has an opportunity to testify? Are they going to be bilingual? Can people testify in Spanish? They've been very responsive to making sure that those those concerns are, are being addressed by this hearing process. Uh, you know, we've encouraged their staffs to be there, to have letters from the congressmen read into the record where they're opposing the wall, and the solutions, because there are viable solutions out there to a wall.